Why does AI want your eyeball? Why do robot cats need quantum algorithms? AI is already teaching kids, firing workers, and posing as real writers. This is our News Digest, the loudest, strangest, and most important stories from the world of AI and tech in the past few weeks of 2025. Sam Altman's startup world has officially launched in the US, offering people a digital proof of humanity if they agree to scan their iris using a high-tech device called the Orb. The reward? About $49 in WorldCoin crypto. The primary goal is to distinguish real humans from bots and AI avatars, and build a system where verified users can receive universal basic income from future AI-driven wealth, and send money peer-to-peer -peer with no banks or passports, just your eyeball. World claims it doesn't store eye images, only encrypted codes. But regulators in Spain and Hong Kong have already raised red flags, pointing to shady practices around the sign-up bonuses. Still, the US rollout is moving fast. 7,500 orbs are coming to major cities by year's end. The platform already has over 12 million users, especially in lower-income countries like Indonesia and Kenya, where the $49 bonus looks more appealing than digital utopia. So, would you trade your iris for a world ID? The University of Pittsburgh and defense contractor Leidos are launching a five-year, $10 million program to accelerate the diagnosis of cancer and heart disease, especially among low-income patients. The main goal is not to replace doctors, but to assist them, helping them spot what the human eye might miss. AI can already detect heart disease in its early stages with up to 90% accuracy. In oncology, neural networks analyze leukemia in just minutes, not hours. Next, AI will be scaled to local clinics and smaller medical centers and doctors will be trained to work with AI as an ally, not a competitor. However, the final decision will always remain with the human, and this is the core principle of the project. Recently, doctors in Wuhan have successfully implanted the world's smallest artificial heart into a seven-year-old child suffering from severe heart failure. The device uses magnetic levitation. Its spinning parts don't touch the casing, but float on a magnetic field, reducing wear and damage. Visa just announced a bold new move. It's teaming up with top AI developers, including OpenAI, Microsoft, and Anthropic, to let autonomous AI agents access and use your credit card. Your AI assistant could soon buy groceries, clothes, or even book vacations for you, all based on your budget and preferences. They call it Visa Intelligent Commerce, and it's designed for a near future where millions of people rely on AI to shop and make financial decisions. Visa says these AI-powered cards will ditch traditional numbers and use secure, tokenized digital credentials, only activated by the user. But here's the trade-off. In order to give smarter recommendations, AI models will gain access to your purchase history and preferences, with your consent. And Visa isn't alone. MasterCard just revealed its own AI agent project, Agent Pay, built with some of the same partners. So far, early AI shoppers have been underwhelming but Visa thinks it can change that. A Japanese author recently won a literary award for a novel co-written with ChatGPT. Meanwhile, the trend-breaking book Hypnocracy, Trump, Musk, and the New Architecture of Reality turned out to be written by an AI philosopher. Now, even journalism is stepping into the future. In a groundbreaking move, Italian newspaper Il Folio published an entire daily section written by AI, a first in journalism history. Using ChatGPT, the section featured headlines, articles, and witty commentary, all crafted by AI but overseen by human editors for accuracy and topic selection. The AI edition's sharp humorous tone went viral on social media, selling out print runs faster than usual. Editor-in-chief Claudio Terraza announced the project will continue as a weekly feature, emphasizing that no jobs are at risk. AI drafts we refine, he said. At Jeff Bezos's Mars conference, Canadian startup Nirvonic unveiled KitKat, a robotic kitten powered by a quantum computer. Every half second, KitKat sends images from its camera to a D-Wave quantum processor in Canada. The computer picks one of 32 possible movements using quantum algorithms, meaning KitKat's behavior isn't just random, it's truly unpredictable. Why does this matter? Nirvanic is testing the bold theory of quantum consciousness, the idea that our minds and free will might emerge from quantum effects in the brain. First proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff in the 90s, 
the idea was long dismissed. But now, it's testable. Nirvanic will run millions of experiments comparing KitKat's actions under classical versus quantum control. If there's a clear difference, it could point to quantum mechanics playing a role in decision-making. Not just in cats, but in humans too. The United Arab Emirates is officially integrating artificial intelligence into its national school curriculum, and not just for teens. Starting from kindergarten and continuing through 12th grade, students across the country will study AI. The program covers core concepts, ethical questions, and real-world applications, preparing an entire generation not just to use AI, but to understand and shape it. This move isn't surprising from the UAE, a country that's quickly becoming a global AI hub. Back in 2017, it became the first nation in the world to appoint a Minister of Artificial Intelligence. Just days earlier, it had launched a national AI development strategy. And now, the UAE is even preparing to become the first country to draft legislation with the help of AI. The future generation of Emiratis won't just live with AI. They'll grow up speaking its language. A startup called Artisan just raised $25 million in a Series A round. Their flagship product is Ava, an AI-powered sales rep designed to replace human sellers. What does Ava do? She plugs into your CRM, writes personalized emails, schedules Zoom calls, and handles client communication, all on her own. Here's the wild part. In a test run, Ava increased lead conversions by 33% and took over the jobs of six sales managers. That's not just automation, that's a full-on takeover. Co-founder James Lawson believes that by 2026, human sales reps will only be handling high-stakes enterprise deals. And it's not just artisan. Every week, new startups raise millions to build AI sales agents. At the same time, researchers at Carnegie Mellon set up a wild experiment, a fake startup where every employee was an AI agent, from OpenAI, Google, Meta, Anthropic, and Amazon. They called it the agent company. The bots got real roles. Managers, analysts, coders. They had to navigate file systems, write peer reviews, explore a virtual office, and chat with coworkers to get things done. The result? Total chaos. The best performer, Claude 3.5 from Anthropic, completed just 24% of tasks, costing $6 per task. Gemini managed 11%. Amazon's Nova Pro, a heroic 1.7%. We salute your service. One agent couldn't find the right coworker in the chat, so it renamed another agent to match the name it was looking for. Classic team lead energy. For now, even your most clueless colleague is better than a full AI office. OpenAI, Google, and Meta have a message for the EU. Ease up already. Brussels is finalizing a voluntary AI code of practice, a strict framework aimed at powerful AI models like ChatGPT and Gemini. In official letters to the European Commission, all three companies warned that the proposed rules are too complex, too demanding, and could strangle European startups before they even get going. Quote from the tech side, if this goes through, Europe will fall behind. The EU's response? Better safe than sorry. Big tech wants fewer reporting obligations, simpler safety tests, and lighter rules for using training data. The EU argues that relaxing the code would turn it into a meaningless checkbox exercise. Bureaucracy versus innovation, the classic match. Former Google CEO predicts AI will outthink humanity by 2031 and warns it won't need us anymore. People do not understand what happens when you have intelligence at this level, which is largely free. Eric Schmidt, former CEO of Google, dropped a bombshell. AI is now improving itself, not just learning, but planning. And soon, he says, machines won't need to take instructions from humans at all. According to Schmidt, we're about six years away from developing scalable, recursive, self-learning minds that will surpass the intelligence of any human and never stop evolving. By 2026, he believes most software engineers could be replaced by AI systems. In just one year, Schmidt predicts, AI will be solving complex mathematical problems, the kind that challenge top-tier university graduates. By 2027, these systems may begin rewriting and optimizing their own source code without human help. And from 2028 to 2030, 
Schmidt sees AI models competing head-to-head -head with the world's best mathematicians, physicists, writers, even artists. By 2031, he believes we'll reach a point of artificial superintelligence, where machines exceed human capabilities across the board and evolve autonomously. You can check out our videos about the dangers of AI and its impact on society. Do you believe in these predictions? But Schmidt isn't the only one sounding the alarm. Jeffrey Hinton, a key AI pioneer and Nobel laureate, also warns that artificial intelligence could pose an existential threat to humanity. He believes we're rushing forward without understanding how these systems really work, and that unchecked development could lead to disaster. When asked how AI might destroy us, Hinton didn't hesitate. There are many ways machines could do that, he said, even comparing it to Terminator. What do you think of this kind of news? Let us know with a reaction and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.